everybody. I am Ani, creator and inventor of the Jewel Tool. And on today's show, I'm going to show you guys how the new Trizac and micro finishing film flat top disc work. So they are trickling on in. We just received the micro finishing film today, one grade, but the rest will arrive towards the end of this week. So I'll probably leave the pre-order for the weekend. I just heard that there is a delay in the blue Trizac from 3M. So we might just ship that when it is available. So that, that's the situation. So you guys, hi, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to actually start my demo now. So if you're watching and you're just tuning in, I'm going to say hi to everyone as soon as more people come on in. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So right now, you guys, we got the medium micro finishing film in. This is the 30 micron. You guys see this? I'm going to do the overhead shot. So I'm going to demonstrate how this is. It's so cool. So if you're familiar with our micro finishing films or you're not, they, oh, Yeah, so this one right here is going to give you a smooth finish. So micro finishing films work great on resins, polymer clay, and metal. People don't realize that micro finishing film works beautiful on metal. It's just I have you know other things too that I primarily focus on metal that last a little bit longer than the micro finishing films do. But these are also very affordable, so it's a balancing act. Now, I also have Trizac wheels I'm going to demonstrate. I don't have the 4-inch. I have the 3-inch that I've been testing. That's what I got from 3M to test my Trizac. So I'm going to show you guys the, how the Trizac and the micro-finishing films work on what. Oh, already got some people in. Hey, Karen. Hey, hi, two Karens. Karen Nowak and Karen Miller Anderson. How you doing? Albert. Hey, Albert and Susan. Susan is in the house. Deborah, Melanie Campbell, Leslie Mitchell, Allison Robege. Hello, hello. We've got Tom Elms. Hey, Tom. These are money. These are really cool, you guys. So let me show you. Yes, of course I said hi to Albert. Okay, so you guys, just a quick little idea of how these work. So I'll use the micro finishing film or the Trizac. Let's try a Trizac. Now remember, these are the ones I got from 3M to test. They're, they will be in a solid, you know, four inch, but this is just for demonstration purposes only. Yours would be solid, just like we have, for example, the purple. This, they will be solid, just like we did the diamond, all solid, all that good stuff. So I'm going to run this at full speed. And like, let's say there's something that you want to get flat. Do you guys see that right here? If you see that, Yara? Can you hold it down just a little bit? There you go. There you go. That's fine. Don't stop. So you just hold it, you guys, just like this. It's pretty cool. And it's going to give you a really smooth hit. It's a very smooth sand, you guys. Really, really nice. And you get, oh my God, it's like crisp flat. Look at this. You guys see how that's coming up? You can see how this side is not completely flat yet. And you're just going to hold it a little bit more and get it. No, I'm not done yet, Yara. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back on and let it sand because it will get the whole surface dead flat. You guys see, but how smooth. This is the magic of Trizac. Nothing beats like really Trizac technology. Trizac will not allow you to have high and low spots of metal. Always will deliver a smooth, and that should do it. Oh, look at that, you guys. A little bit more. If I hold it there, it'll get it. But let me just hold it right there a little bit more. But do you see how it's a gradual? This is great for bezels. You see that? And you guys, if you wanted to go like finer and finer, like in polishing, 
you would just go down the grades. If you want to keep that really nice, crisp, you know, finish, you would just hold it this and you'll see what a difference that makes. It's really smooth to work on. I don't know how to explain it to you guys. Oh my God, I'm gonna flip it around just to make, just for good measure. Oh my, do you guys see how much shinier it is now? So this is the magic of this. So, okay, and then let's say I wanted to do a super crisp, like I just wanna do the edge of like the bezel. You can go to the more finer ones and you'll get like a ridiculous polish look. Just to, to give you guys an idea of how this works. Very nice, runs extremely true. You don't have to worry about it like flying out of your hand. You have complete control. There we go. You can see how like already that already that is like a shine, but it's perfect. You guys see that perfection? There. So do you guys see what I'm talking about? You can even do the sides, for example. Do the side. Just a quick little trim. I'm not even holding it right. But do you guys see what I mean? You can do the side really quick. I, well, I would actually hold it here, but I don't have abrasive here. So I'm trying to do that. So yeah. So are you guys seeing what I'm talking about? Yes, it's true. Nicole said, hi, Nicole. This little colorful family of, is she talking about this family? This colorful family, they are their lovely colorful family are Nicole's secret weapon. They really are. You guys, I, yesterday I was talking to one of my customers, Gina in um, Canada, and I was explaining to her how Trizac is completely different than any abrasive out on the market. It'll give you a perfect even sand. When I say that, you guys, you have to know that Trizac is like a really high end kind of an abrasive because any other sandpaper that you see out there is going to have, I've explained this before, they're going to sand and create like a scratch and a deeper scratch different levels of scratches, which does not aid to you finishing it, makes it more difficult for you. So with Trizac, like I've said before, the pyramid technology creates this even sand. I know it's crazy, but you can sand evenly. So you're not going to have any of the high and low uh, points. It'll be even. So that's the beauty of Trizac, you guys. It's like I was telling my customer, no, no, compare yourself to other people. That's how the other half live. You have Trizac. So she was saying how she loves her Trizac and the see-through, but really wanted the flat top. So she ordered them yesterday. And we were just laughing, but the, the Trizac really do give that amazing finish. Now, if you guys are wanting to use the Trizac for like your tools, let's say you have big hammers, you have big stuff that it's not fitting underneath your Jewel tool machine. I lost my feed, Yara. Um, if you have the big hammer that does not go underneath the jewel tool, the flat top, these are your answers. So I'm going to show you guys this two coming up. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So let me show you guys. So Trizac is great. You guys see that? So you can even use the micro finishing film, you guys, on metal. Let's maybe use the micro finishing film here. Do you want to do that, Yarrow? So this is, oh, sorry. So this is the hammer. It's a very long hammer. Okay. So it's a really long one. You guys saw that. So if I run the micro finishing film, um, on this hammer, you'll see how I can hold it. It's like, it's like nothing bounces. Do you guys see that? Super, super smooth. So I'm excited. So you can roll it around. 
do all sorts of things with it. There we go. Oh, I didn't even turn my vacuum on, but it is sanding. Oh my goodness. Looks so good. It's a little domed. Hold on. Not as flat as I thought it was. And there we go. You guys see how I got that one area? Yeah, I could start with the courses, but I just want to show how smooth the micro finishing film is. So smooth. You can use this for, you know, like I said, polymer, clay, and resin. But for the most part, look at how beautiful it starts to get. You can see that's like a shine. Isn't that crazy? Look at that shine you get. Micro finishing film is used a lot in factories because you see how even and smooth that is. There's no like scratch pattern, even though this is a 30 micron, which equates to you guys, a 30 micron in the world of grit would be similar to a 400 grit. And so when I would show this finish to a four, like to like a woodworker, they'd be like, that's not 400 finish. That should be more rough and like dull. But I'm like, it's 3M technology. It really creates a smooth finish because you don't have all those high and low spots that are reflecting the light and making it look scratched. Does that make sense? That's about as smooth as my bald head. It is. And then look, if you guys wanted to do, let's say you wanted to do the side of this ring. You know, just say we want to sand this down just ever so lightly, just ever so lightly. You can just turn this on and it's like, like you can adjust the sanding, you guys. It's so smooth and nice. You guys see how even that is? Should I show it to the side camera? Okay, I'm going to do it again. Yara says, do show it on the side camera. Oh, show it to the ca side cam. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh. There. Okay. So, do you guys, are you guys understanding how these perform? That's like my main objective to show these off. It gives such a professional finish. Yeah, they're all gorgeous. They're real. So these are great to add to your collection if you want, but I'm here to show you how they work. A lot of people keep asking me. The what? Yeah, so the link is up for the Trizac, and Yaro is working to put the micro finishing um, uh, later this evening. We didn't expect them to be coming in so soon. So Yaro's caught off guard and he's going to put them up. Uh, so let's, I'm going to keep going. So let's do something else because, you know, you guys, they're kind of fun to work on. So let's, oh, stop the phone. I forgot Yaro. Thank you. Okay. So, so these are great, you guys, at getting things like flat, doing the edges, a nice, perfect all of that. I'm trying to see what other questions you guys have. So my objective is to help answer questions on that. I'll keep going. So if there's something that kind of pops in your mind, let me know because I'm reading questions. All right, I'm going to keep going. Let's do, an, let's do another demo. What should we work on? And well, since they are large, you guys, you can do like larger items too. So don't think that, oh, you're, you know, it's just, it's just for small items. No, it's, it is definitely for larger items let me find something here so like let's say i want to do and, and smooth the side of this cuff right here i want it nice and flat oh yeah let me show the phone I'm recording this so there we go okay so there Let's go ahead and show how to clean this up. I'll put the vacuum on. So it's really nice, you guys. You can just like hold it right here and just zip right through. Really, really nice and controlled. Can you see that? Oh, it's so divine. Can keep going. There we go. Look. I'll show it to the side.
Can you see that? I'm trying to show. You're always having me do it on the side camera. Can you show overhead? I, I just feel more comfortable overhead. Let me actually do a little bit more here. I wasn't going to go as low as I put. As, and you can just judge it. It's really nice. Oh, it's so lovely. Going to keep going. Look at that, you guys. That is like perfection. Yeah. Yeah. So did you guys see that? So on the larger things, these are great. All right. Beans came through and said, and hi, honey, hi, Beans. Hello, hello. Oh, my goodness. I have a project already teed up for the Trizacs. Yes, so the Trizacs are great. Like in the Trizac would even be great for like the hammer. You know, if, if you guys want to see how that looks, this is a pretty. I'm just going to put the, I'm going to put the orange. I did stop it already. No, I didn't. Shoot now. Okay. So look, remember that one that I worked on? I did the micro finishing film on one side. I'm going to do the, um, what do you call it? The Trizac on the other side. I, wanted to, I didn't want to do both. I wanted to show you guys the finishes. Sure. So you see how you get in it. I love that there's zero vibration, you guys. You have full control. Everything is flowing away from you. Do you know what I mean? Oh, my God. It's so shiny. I'm not going to show you just yet. Hold on. Let me do all of it all and run. I'm trying not to do the bottom, but it's, it, oh my heavens. Okay, I'm going to do, I'm trying to do half. This is so hard. Okay, I think I did it. Oh my God, you guys, it's ridiculously shiny. You guys see that? I don't know how to show you. So that, that, hold on, let me move it here. Can you see this? The what? Yeah, but it's only five micron. What I wanted to show you is, oh, sorry. Okay, there. So do you guys see how, I kind of was kind of in this area, how smooth and shiny Trizac gets? Is that in the way? So yeah, there you go. I'm gonna actually do this one too. This one that we did the side, I want this polished. What? Oh my heavens. Oh, I love it. Just wiggle like this, you guys. Oh my God, look at this perfection. Oh my heavens, guys. You guys see, it's like already polished. Okay, there, I'm done. Let's stop that video. Okay. You will have about, yes. Yes, I am going to. So that same felt that we have, you guys, that we are using for the, um, for the diamond kit will be available on its own. We have them in stock. It's just, I need to make sure that I had enough backing plates, uh, felt, cushions there's a lot of things that have to be in to make a kit so i needed to make sure i had enough we had the supply and we have enough right now so yara will be putting that up thank you for the reminder uh tom people have asked us yara please make a note sorry yara hi Anne. hi irene yes you cut the lot you caught the live okay so i'm gonna keep going and showing you guys more cool things but just to give an idea even little things that you just want to trim down really quick like if you have a wire let's say you know and you just want to trim the head down 
just a quick little zippity doo dah. Look, I just have a wire hanging here on my spool while it's still connected to the spool. This is a great thing to do. You know, you have a piece of wire. Do you know what I mean? Right here. I hold it like nice and flat. Boom. You see that? Dead. I know. Well, whatever. That's me bouncing. How do I hold it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it doesn't bounce. It was me. You guys see how perfectly flat that is now? So perfectly flat. My hair's in the way. Sorry. I'm trying to show the here. Let's do that. There. Really quick, they, they have so many uses. I'm trying to get everything on like the live so that it's really difficult to explain it over the phone. So after yesterday's conversation, I just thought, you know what, let me show this all on the live. What do you want? Oh, thank you. Sorry. I'm trying to balance so much and talk and everything. Okay. What else can I do? One thing at a time. What else? What else did I have? I'm trying to think. All right. The, so I just have a question. Are you guys getting the idea of what these are used for? This, Yaro says yes. <laughs> I, I don't want to hear from you, Yaro. I need to hear from you guys. <laughs> so you guys understanding? I hope so, because I'm doing my best here. Um, okay, good. Okay, so the Trizacs are available on pre-order. Like I said, they will probably go to pre-order pre for the weekend, but all the Trizacs and all the micro-finishing films have shipped except for the blue Trizac. So the blue Trizac will probably be shipped out um, early next month. But if you put your order in, you can lock in the pre-order price and you'll get your set and this will just be shipped later, which isn't bad, you guys. But, you know, I had a feeling, you guys, it was too good to be true. You know, last minute, the day that they were supposed to ship, they did the whole swap on me and they changed, they pushed back that ship date just for one grade. And I went crazy. I emailed everybody I could think of at 3M saying, how could you do this to me? This is sold as a set. What are you doing? Like, I know they have the material there. Like, I know they do. Why did this happen? Tell me people, tell me, I, I need to know. Anyways, better late than never. I agree. Yes, absolutely. Hi, Melanie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are oh, you good? Everything's good. We're good. Can I see the last comment? Okay. So I think I'm going to show one more thing, you guys, and end it. Um, so like, again, if you guys have larger things and you want to work on, let's say you want to trim the side, you know, of something, forget this is a spoon. Just say, I want to trim the side. You can just hold it and go like that. You want to do a side view, Yara? Perfect. You want to do a side view? Okay. Yeah, I'll keep my hair. I'll put my hair in the back. Okay. So if you're doing this, you just hold it right here. And just zippity doo dah all the way. It's really nice, you guys, when there is no wobble and it's super smooth. It's such a, it's fun, to be honest with you. Look at that. What's that? Which camera should I show? Am I at the front? Okay, I can show it to the front. Where am I? You guys see how even that came out? Yeah, 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 everybody. I'm confused. I don't know which. Yara's got all these camera angles. I, I can't see anything. So forgive me for going. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yay. F Facebook told me you were live finally. Hi, Heidi. Heidi, I'm showing the new. Hi, Kathy Ward. Um, I Caramel, I think I should have been using them instead of the purple ceramic abrasives. These seem to have a lighter touch. Is that correct? Yes. 
Karen, so the purple are going to be more of your aggressive take down the back, even out the bezel. But in the event that you need a little takedown, a little finished polish, the Trizac is going to be your friend. Micro finishing films too. Micro finishing films can work on metal. Just remember that. Uh, Hi, Sue. Can I polish my little bench? block is a block yeah okay so this the flat top discs are going to allow you to do larger items yes sue yes so you'll be able to get like like she was just saying like a bench block something that here something that is not necessarily like something well no let me show you. something that necessarily you wouldn't put under the jewel tool do you see what i mean so Come on, Yaro, not only a cameraman, you have to be the director, multitask, Law, right, Tom? I agree. So, uh, yes, so the, yes, they do pair per perfectly with the uh, flat top purple. Yes, okay, Yaro, you can post a link to that. I think people know. So, like, even, like, I don't have all the abrasives on here, for example. I mean, it's not a four inch, but even just the three inch, what I can get, you guys, you can definitely do that. I'm going to just concentrate on the edge. But just to give you guys an idea of how you can start to work on it, it'll work. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but it'll fit is all I'm saying. You got a side view, Yaro? Yeah. So you can definitely work on larger pieces with this, larger things. Like, and it, you could, it's so... Uh, I want to say it's so even, it doesn't have any like wobble that you can do, like I said, delicate little finishes perfectly, flatten out the backs of things beautifully, trim something, get it nice and even perfectly. But if you have anything larger, it's great for larger. So I thought my brain went to the hammer that wouldn't fit. But now that you say this, because like we had the larger hammer that wouldn't fit under the disc that perfectly and we were able to do it yeah bye laura bye, love, you. love you too and as my sister let me put you back yeah <gasps> these would be great too oh my goodness even the the kevin potter uh what do you call uh what do, what do you call these the dice yeah these would be nice this is a good way to do it if you just want to can I, here, that's a good one. You know, like if you just want to clean this up, Potter dye, just a quick little zip. Do you know what I mean, you guys? It's so easy to use. I don't know how much this is going to grind, but like, let's say you just want to get rid of some of just the high lows without doing things a little too aggressively with the purple. Do you know what I mean? Oh, wow. Just look at this, you guys, already. Already look how smooth that has come up. And, you know, these are a little bit more recessed. I mean, if you wanted this completely flat, you guys, you would have to use the purple. But let's say you just want to smooth those edges so that it gives a, a clean finish. You know what I mean? To your stamp, your die, when you hit it. This is really nice. There you go. Just a little zhuzh right there. A little zhuzhy action. Look at that. Really nice, huh? But you can see the areas that are more dipped. Yeah, so that was cool. I'm glad I did that. What do you guys think of that? What, Yaro? Check who? I showed up late. So sorry if you have showed it already, but can you do knives and scissors on flat tops? So you can do knives and scissors on the flat tops. You do. You're just going to have to make sure you've got the angle and you zip right through. You can. Absolutely. Why not? It's got an edge, flat, perfect. Yes, so you can even do larger knives that you wouldn't necessarily do on the see-through, but you would definitely do it. Hi, Michelle. Yes, so there, that, that, that came out so quick and easy, huh? We got the full surface. You guys see that? 
Not bad, huh? But you guys can see, obviously, there's the really deep ones there. But for the most part, it's pretty nice. Yeah, ideally, you would start with the purple. But I just wanted to see, like, a real quick, you know, something really quick to just stamp it and have a little clean little edge would be nice. You know what I mean? So that that's kind of cool. I'm excited about that. You know? Um, so, yeah, I think that's good. So I, I I know you just came in, finished with the buff. Everybody, okay, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, uh, Tom. We're all set. I did this. What? Yeah, I'm thinking about what else to show. All right. So you guys, if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to go back to work <laughs> and see what else I can do today because I got a lot of work. Any other questions? Yeah. So remember, the flat tops come in the diamonds for working on stones. So we have the diamond collection. You know, we have the diamonds, the graver. Okay, so I was just told, um, FYI, this is a public service announcement. GRS has increased their prices again. So I'm going to hold on to the price of my flat top discs because they have to go up in price. Um, I'm going to be running out of the what I ordered because we got pretty much enough to kind of fulfill all our orders. So until until that angle, this part is until we I run out of this. Oh, here. Yeah, perfect. Can you show that, Yaro? Okay. So this part, you guys, I only have a few left in stock this right here. And so when this is gone, the price of my kits are going to increase even more so because they just sent out an email on Friday. I'm sure you guys received an email from Rio or micro tools. Everyone sent out the notice that GRS is increasing their prices. I know this. Uh, can the flat tops be purchased separately or as a set right now? So Diana, right now, right now there is a set. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do them um, individually. Oh, so the purples are available now that I have them in stock. So the purples are available on their own. Which grade were you thinking of? Oh, Trizac are also available individual. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, announcement, announcement, announcement. I didn't know Yara put the Trizacs up individually. So if you want to just buy the, the, what is it? The orange Trizac, you can. If you want to order just the green Trizac, you can. Or if you want to order the blue or the pink, you can. Thank you, Yara. How about, and so we'll be doing the same for the micro finishing films. Yeah. Not sure yet, just wanted to know. Good question. Thank you for that. I didn't even know, Diana. Thank you so much. Okay. So any other questions? Okay. So Yaro has having me go. It's very, very, very in a rush today. It's a lot of work. Okay, fine. Well, this is your last chance to ask me a question before Yaro pulls the plug on me. This is Rita. Rita! Hi. Hold my order till I can order the flat tops. Yes. So, Rita, I will hold your order. I know we just saw your order come in. I just got to double check that nothing went out. Um, no, I don't think it went out. Sorry, I missed up till now. I was offline and just saw the key. I look forward to watching. Oh, thank you. Did you show knife sharpening? No, Margaret, I didn't show knife sharpening. I don't have a knife here, but I did say. So, it would be like basically when you get have like a knife. I don't have a knife per se with me. But like, for example, I had done the edge of this. Do you guys see how I followed through? So with the flat tops, you can do anything flat, obviously. And since there's no vibration, it makes it really easy to, you know, so you find the, the edge, like I would say, like the bevel, and you would just follow through with it just like so. Do you see what I mean? And there you go. So you would just follow the bevel. 
but it would be like with a knife, you know? So I don't have a knife. Okay, you guys, I just want to wish you a wonderful day. I'll be back here tomorrow. So if you guys thought of anything until tomorrow, just write it down and remind me. Oh, you're welcome, Margaret. So good seeing you. All right, guys, I love you. I will see you guys here tomorrow. She sharpened her spoon. No, no knife. Yeah, she, uh, basically, you guys have to understand one thing. When you sharpen a knife, all you're doing is following that little bevel edge. And so if, by me demonstrating, if I can follow the bevel edge on the edge of a spoon, I can most certainly follow the edge of a knife. That's even easier. It's flat. This is a little bit more curved. This was actually more, I would say you'd have to concentrate more doing this than you would on a knife because the knife, you would just hold it flat. Yeah, I'll do a separate show for sharpening. Okay, you guys, love you. Have a wonderful day. God bless. I'll see you guys here tomorrow. So nice seeing you all. Bye.